Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a roundup of my SPF collection. So I'll go through all of the SPFs that I currently have, talk, give a quick little review on each. All of them have, have been reviewed on the blog, so if you want more information, with the exception of maybe one or two that I will be testing out in the next few weeks. So I figured I'd include them in this video just as you know an introduction, and then obviously I'll be reviewing soon on the blog. So the first one is the Gold Fadden MD Sun Visor SPF. It's an SPF 30. What's kind of unique about this, it is a mist. It's oil free and like I said, SPF 30. It is fragrance free as well. I enjoy it because I can just kind of spray it onto my face, which I was afraid the mist was gonna be like, you know, kind of a broad reaching mist and that it would kind of get in my hair or whatnot. It doesn't. So I'll, I can mist it on my face or I can mist it in my hands and kind of press it on. I like to wear it under my makeup, but the great thing about this is I found that I can apply it midday. If I, if I know I'm gonna be out and about and midday I'm wearing makeup, but I still want to just add a little bit of SPF, sometimes it's hard because I don't wanna mess up the makeup that I'm wearing. This mist is so fine that it does not mess up my makeup. It doesn't make it move or it doesn't make it run or smudge or anything. So I can just lightly mist myself with this and then keep going about my day. So I really come to really enjoy this one from Gold Fadden, but I love a lot of Gold Fadden products. You can head to the blog. I've reviewed a ton of their stuff and I just really love a lot of their things. All right, next is the Radical Skin Perfecting Screen SPF 30. This is a non-chemical sunscreen and it has a slight tint to it. It's a very light, like peachy light tint. Uh, I don't find that it, you know, doesn't obviously give me any coverage or anything, but uh, that slight tint uh, does help to kind of even out any redness I have just a little bit. And I love to, it dries down to a matte finish, not a very, very dry matte finish, but a nice natural matte finish. And I've really been enjoying this. I've been wearing this for the past uh, few weeks and I really like the way it wears under my makeup or, you know, when I'm out on the weekends, it doesn't give coverage, but I like that it just takes down the redness in my skin just ever so slightly. But it is an SPF 30 and sometimes I like a little bit higher SPF if I know I'm gonna be out all day. So um, I have a few, S you know, higher SPFs that I really enjoy. This is the Sicily. Age Minimizing Sun Care SPF 50. I really love this stuff. It's a very thick uh, sunscreen. It's more, more like a thicker moisturizer, but not greasy at all on the skin. It feels like a moisturizer. Like that's what I love is I can kind of do my skincare in the morning and throw on my serum and then just put this right over top of it. I don't even need a moisturizer because this feels like a moisturizer. I don't find that it has any type of whitish cast. I'll try to, you know, obviously big, uh, mention if I feel like a sunscreen has a little bit of a white cast to it. it. It is a little bit difficult because I am so fair. So things that may have a white cast on or like more of an ashy cast on some skin tones may not show up too much on me. So I will definitely try and, um, there are, there are some sunscreens I've used in the past where I can immediately when I put it on, I'm like, whoa, I'm pasty. But I haven't seen too much with the ones that I've been testing. But if I find, if I feel that one is going to be a little bit more, uh, maybe have that cast on the skin, I will definitely make a mention of that. All right. The Clarins Broad Spectrum SPF 50. It's a liquid. Um, it is oil free. I do love Clarins sunscreens. This is a little bit runnier, so it's very lightweight. Um, it is a little bit more of a, a runny liquid. It's not super, 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 um, not as watery as some sunscreens that I've tried, but definitely a little bit more, a um, little runny. But lightweight, and I like, I do like to wear it under makeup, uh, but only if it's the weekend, because I do find um, it tends to be a little shiny on me. So if I'm gonna wear makeup over top, I just want it to be like something lightweight where I can just throw a powder on on top of that. I love the coverage that it gives. I love the way it feels. It does have slight kind of a whitish 
cast, not too much, um, but for me it's blending right in, but on darker skin tones it may have a hint of a, may, may change a little bit. But like I said, I like prefer this one more on the weekends versus like the Sicilia that I, one that I just talked about. I like that during the week for um, underneath makeup. This one I love underneath makeup and it wears beautifully. There's no uh, even concern for um, a whitish cast or kind of an ashy finish to the skin because it's the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield and it's like a clear liquid, which is fantastic. And it's mattifying. So it's kind of like a primer and sunscreen in one. It's so unique. It's not super, super silicone-y like an actual primer, but it um, almost like running back and forth. He's calls it a ruckus today. So, um, but it is, it does have a little bit of a silicone-y slip to it, but not enough to really like annoy me and make me not want to use it. But I, it just, it's beautiful on the skin and it wears beautifully under makeup. You can even like mix it with your foundation. It is just such a, it's become such like a buzz product right now and for good reason. It really is, uh, looks beautiful on the skin. And any skin tone, any shade can wear it because of, because it's basically invisible and that's what I love even more. All right, next is one that I've been using for a few years now and I really love this stuff. It is the Revive Sensitive Renewal Cream Daily, Daily Cellular Protection SPF, um, let's see if I can focus, SPF 30. So it's definitely a very richer cream and it's, I use it as my moisturizer, but very, very, kind of like a gel cream, very, very lightweight, very, oh gosh, Elmo, he's right underneath my camera. Elmo, come on, come on. Come on. He's like going right underneath my camera trying to move it. Don't be difficult. And so it is um, anti-aging, has anti-aging uh, properties as well. So in addition to helping provide sun protection, it also is kind of an anti-aging daily moisturizer, which I love. It's like two in one. And next is another one I've been using for a very long time. It's a Dermalogica SPF 30 oil-free matte. I like this one because it does give more of a matte finish. Very lightweight. SPF 30 does not make me, you know, um, doesn't feel heavy on my skin. Doesn't have any type of like a whitish cast to it. Been using this for years and years and it's always been a staple. Uh, next, oh, this one. The Murad Essential C Sun Balm Stick. So this is really unique. It's a sunscreen stick and you just kind of rub it onto the, here. I just kind of rub it onto the skin. You can wear it under makeup. It wears beautifully under makeup. It's not thick and um, tacky feeling. It goes on literally clear. There is absolutely no color to it. Uh, so um, it looks great on any skin tone and it doesn't have any type. You don't have to worry about it being, um, having any type of like a whitish cast to it or whatnot. SPF 35 it's easy, it's portable. I do wear it under my makeup from time to time, but I prefer to use it as like a weekend sunscreen when I'm just like out and about because it's so easy to touch up with. I just, I love it. And next, oh, this one I've been using for a long time as well, and it's one of my favorites. It's a Shiseido Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector SPF 42. Love this one because it is probably the closest Next to the Murad Invisibler, this one is the closest that I find that wears like a primer. It's a beautiful, really, really thin, kind of liquidy, dries down to a beautiful matte finish and lasts all day long. Like I can get a good eight to 10 to 12 hours out of this. I mean, it is just, whereas like I won't get shiny or anything like that, it almost wears as a primer. And I wear it in the wintertime as well. I don't find that it's too drying or whatnot. It's just a beautiful SPF. And people have talked about it for a long time and told me about it. And I finally got it a few years ago. And now I know why everyone loves it. Next, the Ultra Repair First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair uh, Pure Mineral Sunscreen SPF 40. So this is um, First Aid Beauty's sunscreen. And they actually have... Two. Another one's just a, a face lotion that has SPF, but this is their um, 
SPF 40 on it's their, from their ultra repair line. So their ultra repair line is you know, great for sensitive skin. It's really hydrating. It's really moisturizing. And that's exactly what this is. And this one, it feels just like the ultra repair creams do, but with an SPF 40. It's not as matte as some of my other ones. So I do need to put a uh, powder on top of it, or I just need to, you know, powder my skin throughout the day or whatnot, because it's not exceptionally mattifying. But that being said, I still love the way it feels on my skin, and I'm a big fan of the way Ultra, the way First Aid Beauty products perform on the skin. So I really enjoy that. And for those with sensitive skin, that might be a really good option. I mean, First Aid Beauty line in general is great for those with sensitive skin. Next is the Zalens Daily Defense Sunscreen broad um, spectrum SPF 30 and this um, feels a lot like my Sicily one because it feels like a thick nice moisturizer but is not too heavy on the skin so I don't find like when I rub this in it dissolves right into the skin um, I think when you first put it on it looks like it could have a slight white whitish kind of cast to the skin um, but I don't find that at all. It kind of dissolves and disappears right into the skin. It's not it's super, super mattifying, kind of more of a natural finish. Um, I have paper towels right here. I, keep, I can't stand to have things on my hands. It like, creeps me out. So I have, to, like, I have to wipe them off as soon as I put them on. Um, I'm just, I'm even, you know, you guys know I've talked about like my hand cream things. I have trouble finding hand creams and stuff. I mean, I found some that I like, but I just don't like the feeling of things on my hands. It used to really bother me when I used to work behind the counter in cosmetics. I'd like be swatching stuff for customers and I'd be like dying the whole time. Like, I need to get this off my hand. Weird, I know. Anyway, back to the sunscreen. So this is a lens. It's, I like it because it's like a moisturizer. So I can skip whatever moisturizer I'm using that day and I can use this just after my serum. And it's nice and hydrating and rich, but not too heavy on the skin but I can get a little bit shiny, so I do need to use a powder or maybe a, like a mattifying primer before uh, my foundation. All right, the last ones are, the last two are newer ones that I'm gonna be testing in the next few weeks, so I'm really um, interested to see how they perform. First one is the Solar Defense Booster SPF 50 from Dermalogica. This one is an actual booster that you can add to your foundation, to your moisturizer, to give you an SPF 50 coverage without, you know, it being its own like separate sunscreen. Like you can add it, I'm sure you can use it alone. It says you can use it alone, but you can also add it to your moisturizer or foundation to give it that SPF boost if that, if your moisturizer or foundation is lacking in SPF, which I think is really interesting. And it's very thin, it's not very, but it's not runny like a water. It's definitely um, very, it almost feels like, oh, it feels like a gel. Holy cow, this stuff is so interesting. Wow, it feels great. Like lightweight and I can see how it'd be a great addition to kind of mix in to something. It really feels great. And the last one is a popular one that's been around for a while. I just have never tried it. And it's the First Aid Beauty 5-in-1 Face Cream. So it's just their basic, this is just a basic daily moisturizer, but has SPF 30 in it. And it helps to, like I said, prevent, reduce wrinkles, correct uneven skin tone, filter UVA, UVB re rays, nourish, moisturize, combat free radicals. So it's great because you don't have to use a moisturizer with this. This could be your moisturizer and your SPF. And that's it. Some people have asked me, do I use these on top of my moisturizer, in place of my moisturizer? I mean, I've told you like as I'm going throughout, sometimes I will use them in place of a moisturizer if I feel that they are substantial enough. Sometimes I use them on top of a moisturizer. It's really depending on how my skin's feeling that day. Sometimes my skin may be feeling like I don't need a moisturizer, so I'll just go right to my SPF. So it really just depends on what, there's no, rhyme or reason as to what you should do, whether you should use a moisturizer with your SPFs or not. That's totally up to you. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys found some new SPF options to try. And like I said, most of them I've reviewed in the blog, so if you want any further in-depth uh, 
reviews or maybe like swatches of actually the product of what it looks like. I take a picture of all that and that's on the blog. So I will list everything that I talked about down below and I will talk to everyone soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.